Okay, here we got the composite deck. We're putting on a mobile home. It is um, an eight by eight. You can see here I got the skirt board on because I got to get my stairs, stringers figured out here. And you can see that it's on a slab. That's why I bolted it into, found some good meat inside on that trailer to be able to hold that up. And then I put this into concrete, but I put rock underneath, good pile of rock. So any water comes down there, it'll get away from the post and won't rot it out. It'll take a lot longer. And got these ready for sleeve because it's going to get the um, vinyl railing and um, with black spindles. And as you see here, the composite deck. So I'll just give a little video here of the starting of it. We got it braced up so it won't move nowhere because we got the concrete setting now. That's what's underneath there. We got the concrete, a nice deep hole. So I'll turn it back on we get a little farther. Alright, we'll right, I'll turn it back on here. I was making the stairs here from this concrete, which is level with that there. From there up to here is 38 and a half inches. Now I took that and divided it by what I thought it was by six and it didn't come out right. I divided by seven. And it came out to 5.5, which is five and a half inches, which is what I wanted these to be. They wanted these to be a little easier to step on. So five and a half inches is really good. So it's going to take about six of them, I figured out, to go that span to make sure I make the concrete there. So you can see how I got it marked out here. And I'll go ahead and cut it if you can see it. I know it's kind of bright out here. Once I get it cut out, I'll show you, and I'll use this one as the template for the other three that I need to cut out for this. So I'll, I'll turn it back on when we get there. All right, now here's the finished product of the stringer. Now to show you how I did that is use these, put these stoppers on a, a framing square. I put this at, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it, five and a half inches. And then you put this one here at, you gotta move it over here, 11 inches. Cause I moved that one, I need to use it. So right at 11 inches, and that's how you put this in here. You see how it works, and you scribe that all the way down, and that gives you the right for your, how to you do your stringer. Now, now here at the end, I had to take an inch off of this from this, as you can see here because this one will get a, this will get decking on it and this won't. So I'll make all these the same. And then cut this for the angle up there. Okay, and this here, I'll just have to get my saws all out and knock those little notches out. Okay, okay, we'll turn you back on when we get a little farther.